34, on the set of axes below, graph the locus of points, which just means the set of points, that are 4 units from the line x equals 3, and the locus of points that are 5 units from the point 0, 2. Label with an x all points that satisfy both conditions. Okay, so this is a very common type of problem. You've got to take each part independently. First, we're being asked to graph the locus of points that's 4 units from a line, and then the locus of points that's five units from a point. So those are going to be two different loci. And then we're going to label with an x the points that satisfy both conditions, so the intersection of those two loci. So let's take them one at a time. First, we're going to go four units from the line x equals 3. So let's draw the line x equals 3. Here's x equals 3. It should be a vertical line. So that's the line x equals 3 and the locus of points that's four units from x equals three is everything that's over here and I'll go back just to show that darker a little darker okay and then that's four units to the right and also everything that's four units to the left that's gonna count as well All right. So that's the locus of points that's four units from the line x equals three. Now they want us to graph the locus of points that's five units from the point zero two. So zero two is here. And what is the locus of points that's a certain number of units from a point look like? Well, it's a circle, right? So let's draw, before we try to actually draw the circle, let's just draw a few points that are five units from this point. One, two, three, four, five. There's one. Uh, five above, maybe five below. So this would be one. Five to the right. Three, four, five. This would be one. And then five to the left. That would be another. And now we can draw our circle. You know, just this will help us draw a circle a little more accurately because it can be tough on a test. So I'll try to go through all the points if I can. Eh, it's not a great circle, but it'll do. So that's the locus of points. That's five units from the point zero, two. And now lastly, they want us to label with an X all the points that satisfy both conditions, which is the intersection of those two loci. So where do they intersect? They intersect here. So that's an X. And they intersect here. So that's another X and they don't intersect anywhere over here the circle's not big enough to reach so it's really just those two points two intersections